Hey everyone, Fuse Mike coming at ya. And today I wanted to spend a little time talking about text for VR and a really cool asset that's on the store called Text Mesh Pro. To get Text Mesh Pro, you need to actually go to the asset store, just find it. I'll actually put a link to this in the description so that you can go ahead and just jump straight to it. It's the first thing you'll find here. And you'll see that this is actually licensed by Unity Technologies and Unity. TextMesh Pro actually used to be run by a different company, but they've partnered with Unity to bring this to everyone for free. So that's a really cool feature about TextMesh Pro. And you can see here that they used to have a paid version before Unity partnered with them. And that there's a lot of cool information about like how this is optimal and compared to say the Canvas system. I think eventually what's going to end up happening is this is going to get natively integrated into Unity. But for now, you can go to the asset store and just pick this up for free. And yeah, definitely recommend reading through this. They also have a form that you can check out and I'll pull that up in a bit. But uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and import it. That takes a second and I'll cut to when this is done. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and close the asset store. So I'm going to do that. You'll see that text mesh pros in our project. And one of the best ways to kind of figure out what's going on is if one, you can do their user guide and I'll go ahead and open that up right now You can go through this and they have a quick start in here as well as an explanation of all their features. And then the other thing is just going through their example scenes. So the one that I showed at the beginning of this video is their title screen. And that is located here, Title Mesh Pro. And you can go ahead, click on this. You'll see here that there are two different text meshes. Unlike the Unity text, you actually don't need a canvas to use this, although it is using a rec transform. I think a hint at the fact that this is eventually going to move into the Unity UI system. But you'll see here it's using a mesh render, one of the reasons why it's called Text Mesh Pro. And it also has this text mesh pro script attached to it. And as you can tell, since it's a script, you can, it'll have an API that allow you to go in and access that. I'm not going to cover that in this video, but I feel like that should be pretty straightforward. And even then, you still don't even need to use that because a lot of the features that you're going to use are kind of exposed to you right here. So you have this text box. You can, if you want, go and make it bold. You can italicize it. And you'll see it all happens in real time. And if you want to do it for certain things, you also can use some HTML tags. Um, so if I just want to say ultimate, because ultimate's a cool world, bolded, you can do that. Bold doesn't, with this font, doesn't seem to come out that well. But italics, you can definitely see is happening there, both in the scene and game view. So keep that in mind as far as, like, you can customize this however you want. There's a lot of resources online. There will continue to be a lot of resources since it ideally will get integrated into Unity. So you can expect to see a lot more of this coming in the future. You have you can set materials here and, and really think of it more of a mesh than it actually is a say a canvas object and that's really what differentiates it. And then uh, because it's a mesh it has that material that you can go ahead and edit here. So things like the outline, the glow, um, the other neat part you can already see this in the scene view is that it's affected by lights because it's a mesh and it's using a, a texture that is lit. You have different, um, if you, you can pick your different shaders, one here is you have a variety for like using distance fields and also for mobile optimized versions. So if you want to run this on for VR, either Daydream or Gear VR or cardboard even, you can do that. And it, that that's also, the fact that they're optimizing for that is really cool too. So yeah, that's just kind of the nutshell of TextMesh Pro. Uh, if you want to like customize it yourself, let's go to a new scene and do that. I'm just not going to save that for now. What you'll do is just go to Game Object, 3D Object, Test, Text Mesh Pro. Now, once you do that, you'll obviously have all of these stuff. Uh, one thing I didn't touch on before was this extra settings panel. And I think this is actually a, a really cool feature that I hope gets expanded a lot. And the reason for that is actually this enabled volumetric setup. When you do that, what you'll see here is it creates two, a back and front object for you to actually um, have this kind of volumetric area for the text. And you'll see the, this blur in the middle that kind of represents that volume blending. 
And obviously, when, when you look at it from various angles, it kind of looks a little wonky, but the concept is there. And I, I mentioned the forms before. Let's just kind of jump right to that. You see, um, this is run by Digital Native Studios, and I, I unfortunately don't have access to some of the stuff that they're sharing here. Hopefully, I'll get access in the future soon. But the, the point here is really the ability to use TextMesh Pro for 3D objects, for self-shadowing, and I mean, I actually, I'll put this link in the description, you can read through it, but I mean, you can see here a lot of people are still asking for this feature to come in. I'm, I'm expecting, I believe that someone in here even said that because VR has taken off, that we expect to see this feature soon. So that's something to keep in mind that there eventually might be some, using TextMesh Pro, you'll be able to actually get in some volumetric ability in here. Of course, if you also want to write your own shaders to do that, you're more than welcome to. Um, I think that's a bit more advanced for the topic of this, but if that's something you want to see in the future, I can start kind of digging into that because I think uh, just in the concept of text in VR, having that depth cues as opposed to a flat 2D image like this, let me turn off that volumetric so that you can really tell, yeah, it's just straight up flat text. This, I mean, this works, but because VR as it is right now has that virgin's accommodation conflict, you are kind of limited in a sense, I mean, not like the, the unity is not going to limit you, but like from a design perspective, it's ideal to have your text within, say, um, three to five meters of your user. And without doing that, you'll end up get using eye strain on the user because of the issue of virgin's accommodation, which um, I'll throw a link in the description if you want to read more about that. But I, I think it's a really interesting topic that eventually will go away with light fields. But that's not the point of this video. So I'll, I'll leave that as like something you're curious to learn more about. But that aside, the virgin's accommodation, when, once you start adding those depth cues with 3D text, it becomes a world of a lot easier to kind of get away from that using the current generation of hardware because it feels like a natural part of the world. And there might be, um, I mean, there's not, not a lot of science behind it, but I'd imagine it'll probably cause a little less eye strain. So something to keep in mind, especially if you are kind of trying to build text into your world, this is kind of the way to do that. So yeah really short video and i just kind of wanted to highlight this as an option for you to use and eventually you won't have that option because unity is probably going to gut their current text implementation for this but something for the horizon and something i think pretty much everyone every vr enthusiast or developer should be using right now so hopefully that's helpful and that pretty much does it for this video if you liked this, definitely give us a thumbs up or subscribe. That helps us out a lot in kind of disseminating information to people. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Fuse Man. I'm signing out.